Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, December the 30th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and it looks like we have a little bit of wetness this morning and maybe into the early afternoon, but we dry out for Friday, and it looks like another wet day for Saturday as we enter 2011. How about some sky cam shots? Looks like a bit of an angry sky down there at Clanton. And uh, a few breaks in the clouds down at Auburn as we look out to the east uh, over the, the area there. And there is some rain in the area. As a matter of fact, at Jasper, you can see that they've had some rain. And the streets are wet at Jasper. On our surface map this morning, uh, the high pressure has moved off into the Atlantic. And as it does, you can see it's just uh, got a straight fetch from the Gulf of Mexico all the way up to the Great Lakes. So uh, what that means is, of course, a couple of things. One, moisture's returned. And number two, warmth has returned. In the upper atmosphere, we're dealing with a deep trough over the western part of the country near the Four Corners area. And we're also dealing with a little short wave that is kicked out from that trough that is uh, bringing that rain to us uh, across the southeastern U.S., and uh, that will be zipping by fairly quickly today, so it looks like we'll turn dry this afternoon and into Friday. Temperatures, I said, uh, have warmed substantially. Uh, still some huge negative numbers up there in Canada, but look at uh, yesterday, the uh, 50s were confined to pretty much to the state of Texas, and now the 50s have uh, zoomed northward and just surged up there uh, with temperatures. Now remember, these are 5 a.m. temperatures, so these are very, very warm. Across central Alabama, we're sitting pretty close to the 50-degree mark for uh, many locations. Uh, I notice that uh, over there in the eastern part of the state, they're a little cooler, and I noticed that uh, Alex City's at 37, so some cooler spots uh, where the rain is not falling. Speaking of rain, there's a look at radar this morning, and much of that rain is moving off to the northeast. And I think that uh, probably by early afternoon, uh, much of central Alabama should be uh, turning dry. Watch warning map sh certainly shows uh, the effects of that trough out over the western states with a good deal of winter weather advisories and uh, watches and warnings in effect. QPF-wise, it looks like we're in for uh, some rain here on Saturday. Today, I think probably most spots that get rain, and that isn't going to be everybody, around a tenth of an inch. But uh, with the additional rain coming on Saturday, which could be a real soaker, uh, we could end up with uh, on the order of about one to one and a half inches of rain. Storm Prediction Center out looking for day one. A, uh, thunderstorms uh, along and just to the west of the Mississippi River, primarily from the Gulf Coast all the way up to near Chicago. Day two, we still have a slight risk covering parts of Arkansas, Missouri, a little bit of uh, Tennessee, especially the southwest corner around Memphis, parts of uh, Mississippi and Louisiana. So we're watching that for the possibility of some uh, uh, thunderstorm development that could be severe. All right, the 06 GFS model run. Uh, as we said, it looks like some showers today, and this is the noon map. But uh, again, you can see with the high pressure off just into the Atlantic, we're getting that strong southerly fetch, and that's pumping moisture and warmth northward. In the upper atmosphere uh, tomorrow, Friday, uh, the closed low is beginning to come out of that trough over the Four Corners area, and as it does, it's going to generate a, a strong surface low and, of course, some pretty cold air coming down into the El Paso area and the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles and New Mexico. By uh, Saturday, that closed low is up over the western Great Lakes. The trough inches just so much closer to us, but as it does, that'll bring the front down into central Alabama, stretching from uh, West Virginia, down across uh, Birmingham area, and then down uh, in, to near Louisiana, uh, uh, New Orleans, Louisiana. The closed low makes it all the way into Canada on uh, the 2nd of January, 2011, and the trough begins to come by. And as it does, I think that's going to uh, finally sweep the moisture and the rain out of our area. But the really cold air stays to our north, but we will certainly uh, chill down just a little bit. Now the changes begin on the third, as we uh, as that 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 major trough 
begins to or moves on out. And as it does, we're going to come more under a ridge and a bit of a zonal flow. And what that means, I think, is that Monday should be a dry day uh, and seasonably, uh, seasonably cool. We stay dry on the 4th, but notice the moisture is increasing, uh, and that's because of the southwesterly flow. And you can see that on the 5th, Wednesday, a uh, week from yesterday, uh, the ridge over the eastern half of the country, but a, another deep trough out over the southwestern U.S., and because of that, that'll be pumping moisture our way. So at least, if nothing else, uh, some chance for rain as well as a good deal of clouds. And finally, a week from today, uh, that trough to the southwest is still out there, keeps us in that southwesterly flow, so certainly looks like we should be mild with uh, no sign of any really cold air coming our way, and uh, also the moisture quite uh, prolific coming out of uh, the Pacific. Looking ahead into voodoo country, and uh, we see that there is a little bit of a cool down around the 12th, which again, I think the NAO is uh, supporting that sort of action. But by the end of the period, around the 14th, we're back to a, a bit of a zonal flow with a little short wave moving through the northern part of the stream. So that'll have just minor effects on us, and it looks like another trough could be developing on the West Coast. But you know about voodoo. You know, we just can't rely on it completely. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted by about 7.30 or 8 tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great day, and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.